Hi there and welcome to Agronomag. In today's video we are learning about the types of garlic and the most popular garlic varieties. Garlic is by far one of the most beloved additions to any garden out there and that's a fact. When it comes to its many different uses there is just no doubt about it. Garlic is one of the best choices you could go for. On top of that, garlic is also extremely easy to grow and it can really take a pounding from mother nature as it can easily live through the coldest or hottest of climates without a care in the world. Versatility wise, garlic is also incredible as it is the main ingredient in a lot of different recipes out there which is why it is so sought after by chefs all around the globe. So in this video we decided to give you a quick rundown of every type of garlic there is out there and most importantly what makes that special variety of garlic stand out from the crowd. But before we get to that part how about we answer some questions that you may have regarding garlic and its many different uses. So let's just jump right into our first question of the day aka where does garlic come from? Believe it or not, but the idea of using garlic for seasoning is actually not all that new to begin with. It is believed to have originated from many millennia ago. It was actually one of the main ingredients used in traditional European and Asian medicine and even back then they seasoned their meals with it. It is believed that it was first discovered somewhere between Central Asia and Iran, although nobody knows for sure where it came from per se. What we do know however is that the wild garlic varieties that we can find here are all sterile which is very interesting to say the least. How many types of garlic are there? The interesting part about this is the fact that most people know that there are a ton of different garlic varieties out there and yet the average person will only ever try one during their lifetime. This is because for the most part the market has been monopolised by a simple yet very effective garlic type that made it so that every other type out there would be obsolete. If this one is so cheap to grow and resistant, why would they ever spend any extra money and time on growing a different type of garlic? Well, it all depends on your preferences to be honest and although the average Joe may not be able to instantly pick apart the differences between the garlic types, Let's just say that there is more than enough of a difference between them to make it noticeable as long as you know where to look. For the most part however, every garlic variety out there can be categorised in two different options. These being the soft neck garlic and the hard neck garlic. The first of these is the soft neck garlic type and this is the one that most of us have consumed at least once in our lifetime. This is the grocery store variety, the one that is sold to us in most of any shops out there. This is because they are a lot less delicate than the hard neck garlic and most importantly it can be subjected to automated picking which can't be said about the hard neck garlic type. Taste wise the soft neck garlic features the mild flavour that we come to expect from the grocery store garlic and it is known to grow best in relatively warm USDA zones 5 and higher. Hard neck garlic varieties on the other hand are a lot easier to break apart and they do have stronger flavours which is why they are not for everyone. They are considered to be delicacies in a lot of cultures but they are also avoided a lot by the typical buyer because they can be more expensive and harder to maintain because of how delicate they are. Which type of garlic is the best? Now that we know what the two main types are, how can we really tell which one is the best one for us? Honestly, there is only one way to do it, and that is to try it out for yourself. At the end of the day, we can sit here and talk about how one is more or less flavourful than the other, but that's not what really matters in this discussion. The only thing that matters is that you personally prefer that one over any other, and that's all there is to it. If you want a more in-depth look into which subtype is the best and which one is the worst, then we need to be here all day because there are dozens of different varieties to choose from there. So for now we'll just leave you with this, the best type of garlic is the one that you can get your hands on the easiest, the one that is the most affordable for you and the one that you love the flavour of the most. With that said, it's about time that we actually talked about the best varieties of garlic that there are out there, starting off with one of our personal favourites aka artichoke garlic. You will instantly be able to tell whether you're dealing with an artichoke garlic or not from the fact that it usually has a lot fewer cloves on it but at the same time they are much larger than the typical cloves you'll find on a garlic. You should also be able to distinguish a mellower flavour when you taste it than the average garlic. And although the artichoke garlic is a lot larger, 
it is also a lot more vulnerable to mold. This is because the clubs can easily retain moisture in them, which will instantly spell out disaster if you're not careful with them. We recommend that you dry them up completely before storing them, so as to avoid any potential dangers. Once completely dried, you should be able to keep them in your storage for around 8 months or so. Next on our list, silver skin garlic. This is essentially just the complete opposite of the artichoke garlic in that it is a lot more flavourful than it while also retaining a lot less water and being a lot more resistant as well. Its cloves are also relatively small when compared to those of the artichoke garlic and we can't forget about the fact that this type of garlic can also survive for way longer once properly dried off. Colour wise as the name implies, the garlic actually features a bit of a silver hue on the inside and although not the most flavourful garlic out there, it is definitely a lot more flavourful than we've come to expect from commercialised garlics. Porcelain garlic the typical porcelain garlic has very large cloves, around 6 or so per piece and you will usually find them covered all the way up by that smooth white wrapper that always seems to be missing with the artichoke and the silver skin garlic. One key difference between this one and every other type so far though is the fact that the outer skin of it is actually all white while the cloves themselves are reddish to brownish. This is also one of the most popular choices for home gardeners simply because of how adaptive they are to most any climates out there. You can also throw the typical porcelain garlic in your storage room for up to 8 months as long as you've properly dried it off beforehand. Taste wise the porcelain garlic is actually considered to be amongst the tastiest option out there. It is very flavourful while also not stinging all that much afterwards. This makes it a fan favourite for most garlic lovers out there. Rocambole garlic we personally believe though that the rocambole garlic has the absolute best flavour of them all without a doubt. This type is oftentimes considered to be the very best option for most home gardeners out there because of how easy it is to grow and because of how tasty it is. The only real problem with the rocambole garlic type is the fact that it needs to be kept far away from any excess water as even a tad bit too much of it will cause it to shrivel away and rot. Because of this, you may not want to invest in rocambole garlics if you live in a very wet area. The typical rocambole garlic also offers you around 8-12 to 12 different cloves per layer, making them very easy to peel and use in your meals. Colour wise, they are reddish to pinkish, although this again depends on the garlic itself. Each and every one of them has a unique pattern on them that varies from garlic to garlic. Another sad aspect to take into consideration is the fact that it can only last for around 6 months or so after being successfully dried off. Any longer than that and they'll definitely start to deteriorate. Purple Stripe Garlic This category can also be separated into 3 subcategories as well, which largely depends on the distinctive patterns that the purple streaks take on them. They are the following. The Purple Stripe Garlic The Marbled Stripe Garlic The Glazed Purple Garlic the first of these is the purple striped garlic and it is famous for its relatively tasty flavour and of course the massive purple stripe that can be seen on it. The marble striped garlic, the main difference between this type of a garlic and the one before this one is in fact that this one offers you a lot larger cloves. Although there are a lot fewer of them on it, they are also a lot easier to peel off. If you want to dry these off, we should warn you that they are a lot harder to completely dry off because of how large their bulb is and how much water it can retain. The Glazed Purple Garlic Last but not least from this subcategory, we have the Glazed Purple Garlic type, by far the most delicate of the three thanks to its thin outer skin. They are not as common as most other types on this list and that is because of how easy they can be to mess with. You can literally drop one and it can rip apart in no time. That's how fragile these are. Most of the time, the only people that will ever purchase or grow these themselves are the people from the heritage conservancies or the family growers that have been doing this for many years now. Taste wise, they are also not the greatest and since they are so delicate, they are also not recommended for newcomers that want to grow their own stocks. Asiatic Garlic the funny thing is that a couple of years ago, not many people actually knew about the Asiatic garlic type and for good reason too. But as time moved on, more and more people realised the benefits that come from growing this type 
especially considering the time management that it implies. This type of garlic is by far the fastest growing one you will see out there. It can mature and get ready to be consumed in no time, which is why so many gardeners are opting for this type nowadays. The only real issue with it is the fact that the typical Asiatic garlic will only really last for about 4-5 to five months or so. This type of a garlic is also known for its unique taste and the fact that it almost has a spicy aftertaste to it which most other garlics out there don't offer. Creole garlic While not the tastiest option out there, the main reason as to why the Creole garlic has been getting more and more popular over the years is the fact that it is by far the best looking option you can find out there. The typical Creole garlic is rose coloured and since it has such a small bulb, it is often sought after for aesthetic reasons. But that's not all, as this garlic type is also very adaptable and it can easily survive through the toughest conditions out there including serious drought seasons as well. The fact that it has such a small bulb is also very good for as it retains a lot less humidity which means that it can survive for a lot longer in storage. Turban garlic this option is very similar to the Asiatic garlic type because it grows extremely fast. It has even larger cloves though and despite this it will still offer you around 5 to 8 per bowl. While it is definitely a good option if you want to use them as soon as you get your hands on them, this may not be the best option for you if you're looking to keep them in storage for a very long time. In fact, their skin automatically peels off after a while, which makes them hard to maintain to the point where you can literally find them rotten in less than 4 months in total. Chestnut Garlic This is a very good option for you to invest in because it can easily survive up to 12 months in total in storage and on top of that, it is the type of garlic that can be peeled off very easily, making it a great option for newcomers and master chefs alike. Colour wise they are a bit on the whiter side with those classic purple strip wrappers over them. Vietnamese Red Garlic Yet another fan favourite option over here, the Vietnamese red garlic type is very popular because of its creamy texture and that specific flavour that it has that so many people love to get a taste of. It can only survive for around 6-8 to eight months in storage but don't worry considering how tasty it is we don't think that you will be able to keep yourself away from using them in every meal whatsoever. Elephant Garlic Last but not least we have the interesting Elephant Garlic. This is a very special type of garlic in that it offers you some of the most massive cloves out of all the garlics we mentioned so far. Flavour wise they are very mild which makes them perfect for the grill or the oven either as additions to your meal or as meals themselves. So there you have them, the very best garlic types that we could think of. There are definitely a lot more of them out there, but we personally believe that these are, without a doubt, the very best of them. Choose whichever you prefer, and remember, you can always try another one if the one you tried wasn't exactly up to par with what you expected from it. And that's it for today over here at Agronomag. If you've tasted one of these special garlics that we've mentioned in this video, let us know down below in the comments and also let us know which garlic variety is your favourite.